Tom to welcome back our professor from uh, everything uh, to look at uh, nutrition and dietetics out of the University of Newcastle, Claire Collins. And uh, Claire, welcome to uh, National Diabetes Week, so a, a week where there's a, a lot of focus, particularly on food this time around. Yes, that's right. It is National Diabetes Week and they're really drilling down onto an area called stigma, which can affect your mental health. So it was, you know, I found it really interesting that four out of five people living with diabetes, and in Australia that's about 1.2 million, so mm. a lot of people, were made to feel shamed, blamed or felt they were treated differently because of diabetes. So that's, that's a big problem because that really interferes with then looking after yourself, you might think, oh, what's the point? And well, that's the problem, is I mean, if you if you fall over and have a broken arm, everyone feels sorry for you and everyone is on, on board, yeah. you know, getting that part of your health fixed up. Yeah. There are a lot of things that fall into those certain types of um, ailments that we sort of uh, we still you know, look down on. Yeah, that's exactly right. And so, you know, about half of people, you know, can ha- can feel bad because of their their diabetes in this in this survey. So I thought this year let's focus on foods that contain the nutrients that help your brain work really well, because that's one of the keys to improving your mood. So taking a different focus on oh you can't have this you can't have that, but thinking about the foods that you can have mm. because they contain nutrients that either make chemicals for your brain or affect the brain itself. Well, let's be honest. All of us would like to feel a little better. We all like to do things that make us feel good. So in the the realm of food, uh, where are we going to take that this morning? Well, let's start with one that might not be on, on your menu, and that's long-chain fatty acids. They're called omega-3s. And the most common is fatty fish. So that's salmons, tunas, and if you're a sardine lover, just go for it. But a lot of those come in cans, so that makes them fairly cheap. But if you're not a fish eater, then you can find these long chain fats also in things like walnuts, flax seeds and chia seeds. Uh, they're little teeny weeny black seeds that actually mm. act as a thickener. And, uh, and then some of the plant oils like canola oils, and they make neurotransmitters in your brain. And then another class of chemicals called endocannabinoids. And they regulate a whole lot of body processes from appetite through to inflammation. So they can, um, you know, affect how well you feel in yourself. So... Fish, fish is on the menu, as are those walnuts and other nuts. Gee, I'm doing all right. I mean, I, for lunch, I've got a big bag of mixed nuts at the moment out the back. And, and also, I do salmon about three nights a week. So. Well, your brain will I, be firing up I all should, those I neurons. Should feel, I should feel the best of a whole life right now. Yeah, that's <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And then the other key thing is that your brain needs glucose to run. So glucose is the carbo- is carbohydrate. It's like petrol in a car. And for diabetes, the focus is generally on what are called low glycemic index. So they're the more slowly digested carbohydrates. And rolled oats, and it's definitely porridge season at the moment, and whole grain breads are really important. And there's also carbohydrate in milk and yogurt. And then the next key nutrient is protein. So that's amino acids. And there are a couple of particular amino acids that you need to make those neurotransmitters called tryptophan, L-theanine and taurine and that's in you know eggs, dairy, the nuts again so mm. nuts is definitely something that's a, that's a winner when you have diabetes. So and the other key one though is legumes. Now legumes are like a triple win because they've got protein, they've got this slow digesting low glycemic index carbohydrate carbohydrate as well. So a bit of everything there. I mean, a lot of those things that we're probably just eating bits and pieces of uh, quite often, the more of those we get in, the theory is that we'll, we'll our brain will work a little bit better, we'll start to feel a little bit better and, and go from there. Yeah, absolutely. And then when it comes to vitamins and minerals, the key brain minerals are B, B for brain, B vitamins, and that's your whole grains again, and good old-fashioned Vegemite, the eggs and seeds and uh, again, and all of those things then they help make those neurotransmitters we mentioned, but they also make the protective coating around neurons in the brain. That's called the myelin sheath. And then when it comes to minerals, it's iron, iodine and zinc. And it's the protein foods they're rich in, meat, chicken, seafood and nuts again. So, And then last but not least, keeping your brain um, well hydrated by drinking lots of fluids. When you're dehydrated, even as little as 2%, so, which is a teeny, teeny amount, mm. then you can't concentrate. And the best way to know if you're drinking enough water is check your wee. It should be the colour of straw and then you're getting enough water. 
it, it's so easy, isn't it, to just move along and not be hydrated enough? Because, I mean, by the time we realise, wow, I'm really thirsty, you are dehydrated to a point. Yeah. So we need to sort of be on top of it yeah. throughout the day. Yeah, and that's a lot to remember. So if you go to our No Money, No Time website, we've got an article on diabetes for National Diabetes Week. Mm. And look in the e-books. We've got a whole book on mood foods, on foods and hints on how to improve your mental well-being, that sense of, yeah, I feel, I'm feel i feeling okay, and all the foods that are rich in those nutrients I just mentioned. Mm, and that'll certainly help you right across the board as well. Claire, a fascinating look at uh, foods for mood and diabetes this week. Thank you so much for your time. Pleasure. There she is, Professor Claire Collins from the University of Newcastle for National Diabetes Week this week at 2NURFM 103.7. A broadcast service of the University of Newcastle.